Can you sketch on top of your images and turn them into realistic views just with a couple of clicks? Or you can sketch your ideas on a picture and turn it into something like this. Let me show you how. I have created two simple design alternatives for this empty plot in this city. On top of a screenshot I took from Google Maps. And secondly, I tried to add pieces of furniture to this empty apartment interior view with my amazing sketching skills. First, I have sketched some simple form ideas on top of this image. These are two quick drawings I have. I wanted to keep them simple and didn't add any shading or edges to them. Because when you add out of details, it gets confusing for AI. I have used Stable Diffusion and Control Net. If you are near to Stable Diffusion, you can watch this video to learn more about it. And if you don't have it installed, I have placed the tutorial link you can use. Additional to the scribble model for Control Net, we need the in painting model too, which is one of the new ones. You can download it from here together with all the other available models. We need to use two Control Net models at the same time. If you see only one of them available like this, you can change change it by going to settings and then control a tab and change this slider after you change it click the apply settings and reload ui i will place the base image into this first unit and choose the in paint option from these buttons it will automatically change the preprocessor and the model to in paint options and most importantly we need to mask out the areas we want to edit in the image but before i do that i will upload my drawing first i will click on the second control at unit drop my sketch and choose the scribble option we don't need any preprocessor for this one because it is already a sketch don't forget to click enable and now i know approximately how much i need to mask out to insert my drawing into this image we can choose the brush here and start painting if you want you can change the brush size from here there is a new update for realistic vision model as version 3 I have experimenting with it for the last couple of days and I want to say it is better but I couldn't see much difference between second and third versions. I have used realistic vision version 2 and 3 together with the epic realism model and try to choose the best result between them. The prompt will only affect the sketch so you can describe your design in the prompt as materials, forms, colors etc. I have shared all the prompts I used in the resources. You can find them in the down below but Mostly I use pretty simple prompts just to describe the overall materials I wanted to use. I have generated both 512 to 512 and 1024 to 1024 image size. It is up to you but of course you will get better results with larger resolutions. Yet you can always upscale them later. But I believe it is more important to have same image size as the control net input as your generation size. So my base images in control net were 1024 too. Here are some of my favorite favorite ones for this drawing. For most of them it could understand the opening and the terrace in the middle part. It is a bit hard to create depth feeling just with the scribble mode. For a design iteration we can get something nice with enough dials. That's the most important element in this workflow I think. Patient. Because you may need to adjust settings, change your prompt and create hundreds of generations to have an image you actually like or can use. Here is my second sketch for the same location. For this option I only added some platforms, openings and lots of plants onto the facade. I used a lower weight factor for the sketch so it will more or less use the same volume as my drawing but it can add more on its own. And again after lots of generations here are some of the nicer ones. Later I want to test it out for an interior view. For a scenario like you have the image of an empty apartment and you want to create different furnishing alternatives or want to see how it would look like as furnishing you can simply create a basic sketch on top of your image and turn it into a realistic view. Your sketch can either be amazing like mine, can be more detailed or more simplified. All of the options will more or less work. I added a sofa with middle table and some shelves on the wall, a TV table on the left part and lastly a kitchen island in the middle. First, I added everything at once and generated some options but it gets mixed up because some elements are overlapping and I want to describe 
type different objects separately in my prompt so it will be more detailed and accurate that's why i divided my sketch into three parts i generated the sofa part first the tv table second and lastly i added the island and of course after each generation i changed my base image with the newly generated version and continue on top of that one i have upscaled all of the final images by four times with this amazing ultimate sd upscale extension you can edit your automatic 1111 ui from here using this github url you can find the link in the resources after you install it, upload the image you want to upscale to the image to image tab. Also control that and choose the tile option. You can use a denoising strength around 0.1 and 0.15. Choose the ultimate SD upscale from the script tab. And I want to upscale it four times. So I choose the scale from image size option and change the factor to four. Normally I'm not able to use the upscale function easily on my computer because of the low VRAM. But with this one, you can divide your image into 512 by 512 squares and it will generate each grid individually and then merge them to create upscale final image so you actually don't need much vram to upscale just it will take a bit longer to generate all the pieces and here are some of the generations for each part and the final version in some part if you look closely you can realize the mask areas and the border between them this workflow is not to replace any render engine or is ideal for creating final images for your project but i think it's a nice way to explore and show different alternatives in the beginning phases of the design i hope you like this workflow please let me know what you think about it do you think it can be actually useful in your practice or is it just cool but probably you won't ever use it all of the resources images and prompts are on the blog version of this video you can find it in the description have a great day and see you in the next one